Hi, my name is Jason Kidner. I am an enterprise solutions architect here at Valientis. And in this short video, I'd like to go over a very powerful app called Power BI Connector for Jira. The Power BI Connector for Jira app is a no-code Jira app for creating a data set of Jira data for Power BI consumption. This app also supports a few other plugins or apps, notably Tempo Timesheets, Zephyr Squad, X-Ray, and Big Picture. So it can bring in app from those or data from those apps in addition to the Jira data. This app was created originally by AlphaServe and AlphaServe was recently acquired by Tempo. So this app is now under the Tempo umbrella of apps. Few words about positioning. So who is this app really ideal for? Well, it would be companies that are using either Jira Standard or Jira Premium. If a company has Jira Enterprise, they already get Atlassian Analytics and really don't need to pay for this app. It's also for companies that are not currently extracting data to a data lake, either with another app or with some custom solution. Again, it's also best set up for companies that use Power BI for their custom reports or their data analysis. It could potentially be used by other, by app, like companies using other apps, but again, it's really set up ideally for Power BI users. And then lastly, this assumes that companies need to get data to do custom reporting that they can't uh, necessarily do within the reports or dashboarding, things they need more, inf more ways to, to achieve. So with that, I wanna show you now this particular app. We're in the cloud uh, for this demo. It also, this app is also available in data center. So in the cloud, you go under the apps dropdown and you can find it there on Power BI connector for Jira. You can control who can and who cannot create and access and do things with these data sets. Once you get in, the heart of this is at the data source level. So you can see here, I have one data source set up. It's the sample data source. And notice too that what this does is it creates a URL that you will then access using your Power BI app. But I wanna show you where all the options available within these data sources. So first off, you can control which data from your instance is included in the data source using a JQL query or basic uh, Jira filtering. This is really great because you typically wouldn't maybe want all the data from all your projects. You can pick and choose what you want. Then as I scroll down, you'll see all these possible data points. So the, the main ones are issues and you notice how I, you can pick and choose which fields from those issues, like the foundational issues are available here. I didn't pick them all. I just picked what I wanted. You can also get to issue effort. I've, for this sample, I've also brought in parent issues. So this is going to bring in the parent issue on a given issue. If it has one, you can also bring in issue custom fields. Again, all the different custom fields. You can see some of the ones set up on this instance. I can pick and choose which ones I want to bring in there. You can bring in Jira work logs, watchers, links, comments, attachments, labels, statuses. This again, some of this is pulling from the Jira admin settings area to get your statuses and your IDs, likewise with issue types. Then I also am bringing in projects just to have that as a place to potentially get the project category or project IDs from. And you can see all the available options there. I'm not gonna go through the list, but you can see it's very, very powerful here. A lot of different op op uh, field options available. And this is under the Jira work management tab. There's also a Jira software tab that would bring in data points like boards, and sprints on those boards, and the issues that are in those, those sprints or those issues that are on those particular, uh, yeah, in those sprints or on those particular boards. So again, great way to bring in all of that, that data for those teams doing uh, Kanban or Scrum boards. There's also, in this app, some templates for what to bring in from Jira in order and to create certain templates in Power BI. There's a data relationship area to see all the different relationships within the Jira databases. 
There's an access tokens area. This is important because you need to create a token within the app in order to access this data from Power BI, which I'll show you shortly. Under the API integrations option, you see all of the other plugins that are available for this app to reach out to and pull data from their backends. Again, you need to set up individual tokens or potentially some OAuth uh, with these individual apps. But then once you get access to the app data, you can bring that in. You can pick and choose that app data in your data sources and bring that into a, uh, to a data source with your JIRA data. So again, lots of choices here. I worked with a client that used uh, the Tempo integration, and it was really powerful to connect the Tempo work logs and bring in all the other custom fields for their reporting. And then there's the administration, which again, allows you to do general settings and access tokens and, and other things around uh, access to the app. One other thing while we're in JIRA, before I go to Power BI, is this app also brings in a gadget here, we can see here. So uh, on a dashboard, there's a Power BI report that you can bring in as a gadget. And then if you ha have a particular Power BI cloud report that you want to show here in Jira, you can bring it in and it will embed it in line in the dashboard. So again, some clients have found that really helpful. All right, now I'm going to just switch over quickly to the Power BI desktop app, where what I've done here is I've gone under the get data and I've used the OData feed option. And here I've put in the URL of that particular Power BI connector data source. And then you, you can read up on this as well, but for the authentication, you just use basic auth where your username is going to be your email address in the cloud. And then you're also going to then use that token that you created in the app as your password. And then you have, you're able to load in the tables. In this case, I've loaded in a, an issues table, a projects table, and a users table. And you can see all of the different data sources, all the different columns available for you to, to do reporting and data analysis to your heart's uh, content. And then we also have, again, the projects, table and the users table. So, and you could bring in other tables again, based on the choices that you've made in the data source. So with that, you hopefully can see how powerful this could be for a company again, that meets these positioning uh, areas. And, um, and it really is a really great, powerful app. If you want to know anything more about this app, how, how some just ideas about how to implement it, or even want support in implementing this, or if you want support with any other Atlassian products or add-ons, you can reach out to me on LinkedIn. You can also email me at jason.kidner at valiantis.com. And I hope you uh, find success using this app or any other things in the Atlassian ecosystem. Thank you. Take care.